Human kind has always been curious about the sky and the things in the sky. From small kids to the elders, we all look up to the sky with wonder and surprise. One such thing in the sky which we constantly stare at and perhaps the most common are the clouds. Why and how do they form and why are they so important to us? Let's know all about it in this video. Clouds are basically a suspension of minute water droplets and ice crystals in Earth's atmosphere. In other planets, the droplets and crystals may be formed by various other chemicals. So how are these formed? Here's when our sun comes into play. The sun warms up the surface of our Earth. This causes the formation of water vapor, which is less denser and moves up. As this warm air consisting of water vapor rises up, it cools down and expands. It then condenses on tiny dust particles present in the atmosphere and forms tiny drop of water around the dust particle. When billions of such droplets comes together, a cloud is formed. So now that the cloud has formed, let's dive into the main question. How are the clouds important to us and what difference does it make in their absence? They are important in two ways. First, they act as an umbrella by reflecting the sunlight away, thereby cooling the earth. Second, they act as a blanket by preventing the heat in the atmosphere from escaping into the space, thereby warming up the earth. This blanket effect is most evident in the winter season. You would have noticed in cloudy winter nights, it's usually more warmer than the cloud-free winter nights. But these two functions of the clouds depends on the altitude and the thickness of the clouds. The higher the cloud, the lesser the heat escaping from the earth. The thicker the cloud, the more it reflects the sunlight away from the earth. So you will feel more heat if the clouds are thin but high up in the sky, as it both prevents heat escape and also allows sunlight to reach the earth's surface. But if the clouds are much closer to the surface of the earth and are thick clouds, they will be acting as an umbrella. So you will be experiencing a much cooler temperature as it allows heat escape from the earth's surface and also reflects back the sunlight. As our atmosphere contains more of the lower, thick clouds, the cooling function or the umbrella effect of the clouds are more dominant. So just imagine, if we had no clouds on planet Earth, it would be much, much hotter than it is now.